Hello. Hope you all are doing well. This is Dr. Sharma. He is gonna share an intriguing case with you. So let's get going. A 36-year-old female presented to us with complaints of diminution of vision in both the eyes for past one day. Visual loss was preceded by headache for two to three days. Her best corrected vision in both the eyes was finger counting at one meter. Anterior segment in both the eyes had granulomatous inflammation. Her fundus picture looked like this. Bilateral optic disc hyperemia with blurry margins. Multiple pockets of subretinal fluid. And ILM folds over the posterior pole. OCT of the right eye showed undulating choroid. Thickened RPE. Serous retinal fluid. And ILM folds. OCT of the left eye had similar features along with subretinal septae and hyperreflective dots within the SRF because of fibrin. Our provisional diagnosis was Vought Koinagi Harada disease and patient was started on intravenous methylprednisolone, 1 gram for 3 days followed by oral steroids along with topical steroids. The patient responded very well and one week later her vision was 6 by 9 in both the eyes. The disc margins were now sharp. SRF pockets had resolved and the ILM folds had disappeared. OCT showed restoration of normal retinal architecture in the right eye while subtle irregularities in the ellipsoid zone were noted in the left eye. The patient was advised gradual tapering of oral prednisolone and she was started on azathioprine 50 mg TDS. She continued doing well and was 6 by 6 in both the eyes two months later. The patient was lost to follow up for the next six months. She reported six months later with diminution of vision in the left eye for past 15 days. She had discontinued azathioprine after taking it for some time, without the doctor's recommendation. Both eyes had developed sunset glow fundus, while the left eye showed subretinal hemorrhage and fluid, at fovea and papillomacular bundle. While the right eye OCT was normal, the left eye OCT showed subretinal hyperreflective material, and subretinal and intraretinal fluid. She had developed CNVM as a late complication of VKH and was given intravitreal renebizumab for the same. She was followed up one month after the injection and showed resolving CNVM. Her vision had improved to 660 and OCT showed regressing shrum along with resolved SRF and intra-retinal fluid. Considering the good response after the first dose, patient was given a second dose of ranibizumab. Patient returned two months later with a BCVA of 624 parts. OCT showed regressing shrum but re-emergence of SRF and IRF pockets. A third dose of ranibizumab was given. A month later after the third dose patient is maintaining 6-6 in the right eye and 624 parts in the left eye. Left eye OCT showed resolved SRF and IRF. Patient did not want to get injected further for the time being. We are maintaining her on tapering dose of azathioprine, and, we have advised her to not to miss the follow-up visits. CNVM in VKH disease has rare incidence. We would love to know how you would have liked to manage this case. Thank you for your kind attention. Goodbye. I spy.